Zack, I know I'm a lot to deal with. I got a shit poor temper and I talk like a sewer, but I gotta say, I just... No one's ever done anything for me. And you, you've gone out of your way to... I just never met a guy like you. Shit. It sucks being on the road with no privacy. If we did, it'd make you shoot more than a little electricity. That too forward? I'm no lady, Zack, but if you ever want to meet up without the others around... <laughs> Maybe not like a lady I've ever known, but I like you how you are. Sure, next time we get a break, let's do it. I'll pay a little visit to your room then. Oh, the things I'm gonna do to you. Holy shit. Feels like it's been forever since I was back in my shed. Good to be home. Now, where do we start our search? No idea. I was hoping you'd point the way. I hope I'll be able to help you find what you're looking for, but if I were you, I wouldn't expect too much of my memories. They're rather vague. It's been so long. Give yourself some credit. Can't open the lock or break it. Gonna need the combination. Your old friend Mark apparently made drawings that diagrammed how he improved his rover. They gotta be around here somewhere. He ever talked to you about them? No, I don't believe him. That was some time ago, though. But, but I do recall his rover undergoing massive changes at some point. Vaguely, like a fuzzy, hazy dream. Do you remember where he'd put his tools and drawings? Mark was, was private and, and protective of his stuff. Didn't like people nosing around. And since he always had people visiting his shed, he would, he would take things, tools and things, into his bedroom when they came. I always found it curious why someone would want to sleep with a screwdriver, but to each his own. Right. Well, maybe they're still in there. Where did he used to put his valuables? Oh, Zachariah, I'm not... I'm not sure he had valuables. Not, at least not in financial terms. Valuable with memories, perhaps? Those things he put in the locker, I believe. I if I recall correctly. You ever look inside that locker, Amelia? No, I just... No. It had a big lock with a code on it. Never knew how to get in, and after a while, I just forgot about it. Also felt like going through his stuff was kind of acknowledging he was never coming back. Maybe I can break it open. I'll head back and check the shed. Who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky and find something. Well, yes, it is a very large shed. I'm sure you will find something, even if it's not something you're looking for. I know you didn't know him that well, and it was a real long time ago, but if you could remember anything... I'm trying, Zack. I'm doing my best. What about a lucky number? Did he have one? I don't... If he did, I never knew. Or sure as shit, don't remember now. Maybe he used you, or your mom's birthdays, or their anniversary, or something like... You really think I didn't already try all those? Seriously? Give me a little credit. What else was important to your dad, other than his family? He was a reacher, so traveling in his rover. <laughs> I remember that rover. Remember one time we wrote this little mantra he had on the dashboard. What was it? I don't know, it was so... Something about time and exploration. Something about every soul being too short to explore all of Mars, but how each soul still brings a new discovery. 
or something like that. Well, a soul's a Martian day. That's 24 hours, 39 minutes, 35 seconds. Worth a try? All right, I'm gonna start combing the place. Maybe we'll find something. Lead the way. Worked. Locker's open. Just needed to enter the duration of a soul. All for a single key. Then a damn clue what it even goes to. Scott, I'm gonna need you to dig deep inside that mind of yours for a memory. Guy, my mind is a complicated place, Zachariah. A hodgepodge of mazes of information and caskets of... Oh, broken memories, fragments, and... You ever seen this key? Know what it goes to? Nah, no idea. It's a key, Zach. They all look alike. Yeah, but this one has a drawing on it and was hidden in his locker. So it's probably important. I'll head back and check the shed. Who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky and find something. Well, yes, it is a very large shed. I'm sure you will find something, even if it's not something you're looking for. I know you didn't know him that well, and it was a real long time ago, but if you could remember anything... I'm trying, Zack. I'm doing my best. I found this key. Any idea what it could open? Nah, never needed a key like that in here. No idea what it would open. Already opened the shed safes. Your dad have any other safes? Maybe some got moved. I don't know. I don't think so. I feel like if he had, I'd have gotten them when I took over the shed. What about another shed? Any chance he had more than one? There are only two rover sheds in all of Ophir. The other one belongs to the Watchers, though, who have their own explorers, so we never even had access to that one. Could be a fake wall or something. Any of the walls sound hollow, or...? Zack, look where we're at. Quality construction isn't exactly a fucking priority around here. Every wall sounds hollow. Knock too hard and they might fall down. You find any locks you couldn't open? Couldn't find a key for? Nah, but... Let me see the key. Yeah, no, never seen this before. But what the hell's this drawing on it? Fuck, him and his old drawings. Looks like the same one that was on his wall, though, doesn't it? Let's go take a look. If it is, it's probably not a coincidence. This drawing is hiding some sort of slot. Maybe it's a lock? Mark was quite the jester. He had the audacity, built a secret room in one of the army's sheds and hid a lock in one of his doodles. Oh, what a bold man. He was always the cooler one. His notes are pretty detailed about this icebreaker. He even lists all the materials needed to build it. I should be able to find them. Oh, and there's a drawing of the whole rover here. That's perfect! I can retrofit the front of my rover and just attach the icebreaker right to it. That brings something to my... Should we not perhaps insulate the machine as well, considering the horrifically low temperature conditions at the hole? Yeah, probably why he added a special coating to the shell. Some kind of light, flexible plate, if I'm reading the notes right. Doesn't say the exact material he used, though. Says how he attached it, but not what it's made of. It calls to mind the abandoned dome. All those boxes of insulation lying about. You remember? Perhaps we could... 
Hmm. For a consideration, at least. Yeah, that's... My dad's drawing, I could probably adapt him to the rover's frame. Why the hell were all those boxes there anyway? It's where the people who worked in the city beneath the pole lived. To live in those conditions, you better have insulation. Or some damn thick skin. Maybe. Though the city shouldn't have been under the pole back then. It was nearby, not underneath. All the damn turmoil must have really fucked with the ice's structure. Only thing that's important, though, is you bringing those boxes back to me so I can make my baby cold weather resistant. Can I come in? Come here. I may not be the perfect girl, Zack, but I think we make a kick-ass team. And I want to stay together. I can't believe I'm saying this, but... I think I love you. We're together for the long haul, so you're stuck with me, kid. Amelia, I love you. mind has always had a distinct love for shiny old trinkets. So peculiar, so illogical. Most people wouldn't take a second thought to recycle most of Zachariah, I'm going to need your investigative talents. What's going on? You probably remember that someone turned in my mother. She was one of our backers in Ophir. Without her, our plans to smuggle out our brothers are quite impossible to happen. And I miss her a lot. And then there was Kane's attack while we were about to seal the deal with that Aurora official. Someone turned us to our enemies once again. This can't be sheer coincidence. Someone is trying to slow down our effort and impede our cause. Beyond the fact that what happened to my mother deserves vengeance, I must stop the one who was behind those betrayals or he will end up making our young nation lose. Are you thinking of someone in particular? Maybe Kane's men? After all, he did step in to scuttle the negotiations with the merchant. No. Only a few people knew my plans, and even fewer my mother's identity. Especially not Kane. He must have been given information on the negotiator. I don't have a name, unfortunately, and that's why I'm asking for your assistance. It's probably someone close. Someone who lived in Ophir with a good excuse to travel to Noctis often. You're good at investigation. I've seen you at work. Help me find the culprit, and stop him from doing any more harm. All right. I guess that we could learn more about that traitor by talking to the Valley people. Thank you, Zachariah. Repent! I had something else in mind. I'd like to buy back the relics I brought to you the other day. What? No, I'm afraid I cannot honor your request. Those relics represent the blessings that the Shadow bestows upon our followers. To just sell them away would be like selling away my faith. I guess I'll just have to take them back. Shadow, protect me! Please, 
Have mercy! I'll sell them! I'll sell them! I'm sorry that offer has expired. Now, if you'd please hand them over. The sun will damn you a thousand times for this. Beating and robbing a leader of the faithful. Here's the key to the temple safes. Sorry, pal, can't go through. Priest ordered us to let no one through. No one includes you. Welcome, welcome. What's your pleasure? What are you looking for? I'm looking to buy some ASC uniforms. Not an easy thing to come by, but if you're willing to pay high enough. I'll take them all. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Making business. 